Hi, we're looking to solve this quadratic inequality. 4t minus 3x minus x squared is less than zero. And we're looking to show it in three different ways, set notation on a number line and on a graph. So the first thing we need to do is solve the quadratic, find out where it crosses the x-axis. Uh, if in doubt, you can use a quadratic formula. And in this case, a is negative one, because it's minus x squared. b is negative three and c is 40. However, it does factorise. So that's uh, what we're going to have a look at first. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give 40, have a difference of 3, um, but we've also got to bear in mind that this is a negative x squared. So those two numbers would be, you can feel free to pause it now if you want to make sure you can figure it out yourself. And you should come up with 8 and 5. x times negative x will give us the minus x squared. But we've got to decide which one's going to be negative. Because it's minus 3x, we want the 8 to end up giving us minus 8x. So again, that one's going to need to be negative. And then if we multiply x by 5 plus 5x will give us the minus 3x we need. So that would normally give us solutions if it was equal to 0 of x is minus 8 and x is 5. What that does mean is we know where it crosses the um, axes. So we're just going to move over to the graph. Okay, so we know it crosses at 5 and negative 8. Um, it's a negative x squared, so it's going to be an n shape or an upside down parabola, and it's going to go through the y axis at 40. So we're going to get a shape something like that. We're looking for where that is less than zero and the places where it's less than zero are where it's below the x-axis. So that's here and here. So it's the values of x less than negative 8 and greater than 5 that will give us the solution set that we want. So for part 1 where it says set notation we want values of x which are less than negative 8. I'm using less than because this is less than rather than less than or equal to and values of x where it is greater than 5. If we were to show that on a number line, so we'd need a range of values from there to there, and because it's less than we'll have an open dot, and because it's greater than we'll have an open dot as well. If it was all equal to, we'd have a solid dot. And we want values less than 8, negative 8, and greater than 5. So there is it represented on a number line. And we've already represented it on a graph, which is over here. So that's what we're looking to achieve. Taking your quadratic solving skills and applying them when it's talking about quadratic uh, inequalities. Enjoy.